<laughs> it was very ungraceful. I'm just a little girl. Oh, I'm too sweaty. I'm gonna like slip and die. Oh yeah. Here. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do I got in? Oh, that was a really good workout. The technique is everything in that one. It's a playground over here. I'll show you guys a workout you can do in Japan on a playground. Will you? I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Give me the whole thing. Dip for the dick. Next exercise, dips. Tell me, come on. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yes. Uh. All right. Yeah, that's stuck. Now. Oh. <laughs> that's the bumpy fun side. All right, so we're in a graveyard shrine temple place, and there's lots of crows. And <laughs> Maybe it's not drinking water. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Shit! It's called Naracus. <laughs> <laughs> So I just got back from the gym, which was really small and extremely quiet. Everywhere here is like super, super quiet. You'd have two different pairs of shoes when you go to the gym. You come in, you have to take that pair of shoes off and you have to get like uh, walk in your socks to the changing room, walk back and then put on a different pair of shoes to work out at the gym. I'm going to go and see this lantern festival thing that my friend wants to take me to. So I think that would be really cool. So while I've been here, I've been eating a lot of rice and tofu, but they have some really good food here, I especially these are delicious. They're like a certain kind of pumpkin here. Subway, you said it's getting lit up in here. Just do that. It's getting lit up in here. <laughs> you can drink in public in Japan. We're going to Odaiba Marine Park and we're going to watch lanterns. <laughs> This guy is beautiful right now. So we're at this lantern thing. It's pretty chill. It's So before I end this vlog, I want to talk a little bit. I've been having a really good time here in Japan. It's really cool to see new things and new people and stuff. But I also have been trying to, you know, keep up on social media. But a lot of people have been messaging me about Anision. And I've never talked about Anision at all because why? even bothered really is not relevant or doesn't even matter. Like he made a recent video, I'm not sure how many days ago, 
but it was just very, it was very ignorant and annoying. It's, it's to do with like dreadlocks and stuff on white people. And I'm gonna show, I'll show the clip like right here. Like there's this girl with a similar hair type. Does it look like she showered anytime recently? You think it's easy to keep that hair color? No, I can pretty much guarantee you her hair smells like a goat with dingleberries dangling down on their back end. I wanted to correct what he was saying. He, he put my picture as the thumbnail, number one. Number two, dreadlocks don't smell bad. Anision is very salty as a person and I, I haven't met him in person because I've chosen not to like hang out with him because I think he just, he doesn't like me because he was coming to Los Angeles and he has to hang out and I'm like, it's probably best that we don't. And I was very respectful about it and I tried to be like, you know, cause there was just like other friends involved. And I just tried to do what was best for whatever he got really salty about it and then like subtweeted me on Twitter and so he uses me and his example as a white girl with colored dreadlocks But it's like come on Anision like if if you want friends then be a friend be friendly You know, he's very ignorant in the things that he says and it's actually pretty annoying So I just wanted to vent about that for a second. It's like Anision just grow up That's not how you interact or socialize with people. It's really not relevant and I worth talking about it definitely not making a Thumbnail about like I really ignored everything whenever he was like tweeting about me and stuff like that. There you go that's that's what I think about Anision, which that's probably what everyone thinks about Anision. <laughs> it's like not even, not even worth my time. I also wanted to clarify that with dreadlocks, even though it's nothing to do with the Japan vlogs, even though this is an entire like Japan vlog, like they smell like normal hair, you can wash them as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna um, have my friend come in and smell my hair and tell you guys what he, what he says about it, so you guys can just have some clarity. Uh, I'll be right back in a second, hold on. Okay, so you got me some food? I love to keep going with things. Okay, those things I love. I want to bag everything up. And where, where's this from? This is from the 7-Eleven. More cheese, like rice cake. Oh, nice. This stuff. Ooh, nice. I have no idea. Just like... Uh, More veggies? Stuff. Yeah, veggies. Use your tofu. Oh, nice. Peppers. Tell them how hard it is. So hard. It's not that hard. You did a really good job. It is, well, it is in Japan because they're sneaky about what they put in stuff. So, yeah. like, you'll buy vegetables, like, all these little packets and stuff. I was like, okay, and then it's like, I find, like, a little bit of chicken in it. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't tell you, it just say like assorted vegetables. Yeah. The way Japanese do egg here. Really? Yeah. How, what? What is it? It's like a weird egg, egg omelet thing to do yeah. a lot. We can, I can just beat you up with it because you're so fucking difficult to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> so that's some vegetarian food that he found in Tokyo, which is kind of difficult. Mm. Wait, actually, I needed to ask you to smell my hair and tell me how it smells. A reaction to Nisian, you know who Nisian is? Smell your hair? Yeah. He said that people with dreadlocks, I look like my hair would smell bad. Okay. It smells pretty damn awesome to me. Does it? Yeah. What's it smell like? What's it smell like? It doesn't smell like, parts of it don't smell of anything, and then some parts of it just smell like, like coconut. Even. See guys, just because you have dreadlocks and because you have colored hair doesn't mean that your hair smells bad. Even I'm surprised at that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very, very much. I'll see you in the next vlog. Wait, how do you say, how do you say goodbye? Sayonara. Sayonara. Say, say. Sayonara. Okay, bye. <laughs>